Howdy my friends and welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo 4. This is Sky Hurricane. I hope you're having a super awesome blessed day and all that good stuff. And I thought about moving on to the S license and going ahead and doing that and golding all that. But uh, I don't think I want to mess with that today. So I think what I am going to do is knock out some more of those mission races. No, because why not? And after that I might do some more of the special conditions races because they're pretty no I don't know I might yeah I might wait on those yeah I could do them I don't know we'll see we'll see what I feel like doing in the next part so we already did one through ten the passes those are fun now we got three lap battles now these are pretty cool now this video might be pretty long though because you know three laps around ten different tracks so yeah ten races pretty much might be pretty challenging. But anyway, let's do this. The 2000 GT and historic something, something, something. <laughs> I don't really think that we can do much of this. I will read this information, though, because I think they're interesting. You're driving a Toyota 2000 GT in front. You're of you are Japanese cars from the automotive history, including the 117 Coupe, Mitsubishi, GTO, MR, and Cosmo Sports. Try to pass them one car at a time. After you come out of the long New York stream. This these may take me a few attempts. These actually are relatively challenging. Alright, sixth attempt. Sixth attempt. Mainly the first three attempts. I couldn't even get past the first corner though, so you can't hardly really count those. Then the fourth attempt I did one lap and then said screw it. Because I messed up on this first little area here. And this first little area is hard, man. Especially when you're getting used to the car. You gotta brake early, but you don't wanna brake too early. I almost feel like I broke too early there. Man, I could have had it last time, but I messed up on the freaking third lap. Messed up real bad. Yeah, you don't want to try to take this section too fast because it will really mess you up. That's where I messed up, you know, in third lap. Referencing that. Okay, I messed up there too because I could have taken that much faster. But the, yeah, good exit on there, so it's all good. Really, I think you want to pass this Isuzu before. It makes it in slightly worse than last time, I think. Slightly. Like two tenths of a second worse. You really want to pass this Suzu before this corner here, I think. Okay, let's get a good exit on the corner. There we go. Yeah, I always thought this car had unique little styling. It doesn't look too dissimilar from the... Nissan 300ZX, that like the night, you know, from the 1970s and even early 80s, 83. Oh God! Oh man! I think I broke too late. Oh, barely. Still all right, baby. Yeah, we do have tracks to throw on. You can't really do much about that, though. It's just defaulted to be on. Which, you know, it doesn't really hurt you that much, probably. It's doable. I've done all these before, so... Okay, sir, please watch where you're hitting me. Oh, God. go. I feel like I did okay through that. There we 
go. Feel like I can take those faster, but then again, hmm, might be dangerous to try. Okay, I don't know why I'm not trying to drift. 12.68. I think last time I had nine and a half seconds uh, for, to catch up for the last lap. And if you hit these suckers, you will get a penalty. I'm really doing about the same as last time, I think. Actually, I'm doing better. I don't know. Yeah, because last time I actually drafted these cars here. But the thing is, I was able to draft them. This time I actually passed them too early to draft them. Yeah, I'm 8.8 .8 seconds. A little bit better. Focus on this exiting speed here. Accelerate all through the end of the corner. There we go. And I can actually see dude up there. Little white car. Just like me. A little white Mazda 110S. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, here's where I messed up last time, though. I went way too over aggressive through this. I think I did a little better this time. Could have done better. Messed that up. Jeez. I love how I just got a suck, man, on the last lap. Oh my gosh, I could have got a much better exit on that. Crap. Oh, why do I have to suck, man? I don't remember how much I was last time. Was it five or three? It was three there. He kind of sucked on that corner, though, which is going to give me a chance. Come on, baby. Pass him. Oh, my golly, man. I don't think all of these are going to be quite this hard. But there might be some that are harder. That's the scary part to imagine. Oh, and good news. I actually... I doubt any of these are going to finish. I actually um, did get my recording four back. I haven't got five back yet. I'm still tr trying to work on it. It's, but I actually was able to go back into uh, Elgato in the edit feature that it has. And it still had all the file data there. So <sighs> I was able to re-export it. And it was all messed up and said it was like 33 hours or something. Which is not right. It was only seven hours. I'm only seven. I thought I a lot, but yeah, I'm thankful to have that. All right, so three lap battle, Laguna second. So hopefully this one will be a little faster here. And this is probably going to be a very long video, but many of the videos in this project will be long. So, you know, this is a tough mission overtaking five cars over three laps. These the rival cars are the same class of Dodge Viper GTSR, are making this an all out battle that defends no holds barred overtaking in precision cornering without losing speed. I don't really remember this one. Oh. Okay, we're in a Ford GTLM. Fourth attempt. Okay. Still got to do better. I don't think I was going to win anyway. Because I was 8.8 .8 seconds behind the beginning of the third lap. I think I'm going to have to be doing better than that.
So I actually drive good. Okay, I feel a little more brave with this car now. I'm the second and third attempt, even though I did pretty good and got second. I uh, still did not push this car like I feel it should should be able to be pushed. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that worked. Okay. Doing better. I think I was 14 seconds last time. So definitely better. I don't want to get off road though, this car gets very unstable. Interestingly, they don't fail you if you get off road. Oh gosh, this is not a good place to pass this guy. Had to slow down a lot more than what I. Oh well, at least I didn't run off the track. So maybe I should thank the Camaro <laughs> for being there and forcing me to slow down. Oh gosh, I'm doing a lot better. Knock on wood. Okay, I think I got this. Corvette's fast though. Yeah, only five seconds to close. Barring any stupid uh, error, I should easily have this. He's really booking it on this last lap, though. I'm not catching him. this corner here oh hallelujah I feel like I made good time there too because he slowed down a lot more than I did Viper you're gonna draw this all the way out ain't you Preferably pass before this corner. Okay. Wow. This worked. This worked. Yay! Did it. That looks a pretty good race. Second in front, too. Man, yeah, the thing about these is they're going to come down to the last wire, man. No one else finished. <laughs> At least they do give you 10,000 for each of these, so I'd be 100,000 for doing all these. All right, so number three, three lap battle, Opera Paris. Dogfight of powerful, total six rally cards in place. De la Concord. And Opera Paris, oh God. I actually don't, mm, I do remember this and be pretty hard, but it's because I suck at the truck. This is the narrow and winding pair street course requiring aggressive overtaking with minimal braking from the long straight and minor changes to your line for overtaking from the both inside and outside. You need to be very careful to not lose speed by hitting the walls and from the slippery nature of the road surface. Oh man. Notice how we're all close together but we're all very evenly powered too. So. Attempt number 20, because I am so great at this track. 
So great at it, y'all. So great. I'm hoping and praying this is the most annoying one. Honestly, don't remember how bad the other ones are. So I'm kind of in blissful, peaceful ignorance right now. Sorry, Citron Azara. This is very hard to pass cleanly on them. And I'm kind of on a mission. In case you hadn't realized. Okay, actually, this is probably the best I've done up through the first minute. Oh, wow, 8.47. The best I've done so far, I think, was like 9.2. Now, if I can pass this Lancer. This is where you're going to gain the most time. You don't really gain much time on this whole race. They're most of the whole first lap, you know. They're most of the lap. It's the end of the lap where you gain the time because they, uh... For some reason actually really sucks at the end of the lap. I don't know why. Okay, this is looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. Yeah, that attempt that you see up there, um, that was attempt 15. And I started... Oh my god, what's done so freaking good. I started the last lap 4.6 seconds behind. This really was a good attempt until that. Oh my god, you're slowing me freaking down, you bitch. Seriously. Gosh. Seriously, man. Could have exited that so much better. Okay. And then you're going to hit me, of course, and destabilize my car. Thank you. Still think this is going slightly better than last time. Or attempt 15, I should say, because that was the only attempt I got this far. Oh wow. Definitely think I'm on track to win because yeah, when I was 4.6 I finished uh, 1.6 seconds behind, so Oh yeah, much better. Makes you learning, y'all, makes you learning. Gosh, I can't believe I barely missed that. Oh, that's the thing about this track, gosh. You, in order to take the best driving line, you have to nose toward the walls. But when you nose toward the walls, well, you have a chance of hitting the wall. Oh, well, am I going to pass you right here? This is way early. And I will take it. Is he actually faster than me? Please don't. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Okay. At least he'll break early here, probably. You are not going to beat me on this. Look at this little turd face. Gosh. Oh my, y'all. So annoying. So hard. But we did it. Yay. How many attempts? 20? 21? 20, I think. 2.4 second lead, too. Man, I just had to get my rhythm, man, and and get good at not at nosing toward the wall, but not hitting the walls, you know. Whew. That actually is pretty impressive that I caught up to him that early. The Viper Ace was a lot closer than that. 
And of course, I had enough fail in this track. All right, number four, three lap battle, Seattle. At least I'm pretty good at Seattle, maybe. The fourth round of three lap battles with huge American Muscle Cars panted through Seattle. Aim for first place in the Superbird. All right, let's do this. We're going to be aiming for first place. Whether or not we'll get first place remains to be seen. The key to maintaining speed when you're driving muscle cars with their large stroke suspension and heavy weight is to avoid steering the car any more than necessary. Read the delay in the motion of the car carefully and try to take the action as quickly as possible. This will get you through the city street course with all its pitfalls at the maximum speed possible. Uh, and I'm going to uh, put it back on manual. All right. Oh, my gosh. The uh, controls are so much different in this game, the Gran Turismo 6, which I've been playing a lot lately. All right, here we go. Take one. Really not much of a gap on this one. I don't remember this one being too brutally difficult. All right, third attempt, because I got a penalty in the same exact spot that I got on the first attempt. I'm trying to pass freaking AI and they're so slow. And uh, we're all very close together on this, but I probably will end up being able to pass. These first ones pretty early, but the person that the car, the person, the the car that's leading is none other than the Buick Special. And y'all know how good that thing is, so yeah, this is probably gonna be hard. And so far, I've not gotten um, past the first lap, so we're in great standings. Okay, can I get past you, GTO? Good. Surprised I got past you there, because I didn't last time. Mercury Cougars in my way now. But really, uh, none of them are a threat. Okay. I'm glad I got by this Mercury Cougar because he's what screwed me last time right here. Because I tried to pass him right here and, well, not a good place to try to pass, obviously. And I don't even know if we've caught up to Buick at all. Probably not a good idea to try to pass you. Oh my gosh. It wasn't. But you kind of suck, so. I made it work anyway, because he was so much slower than me, I guess. Now we got to catch that Buick, who somehow is only 4.39 seconds ahead. I don't know how that is a thing. Okay, keep it stable. Golly. Seems like I'm catching this Buick awfully early. Yeah, y'all somewhat shipped earlier with those muscle cars because they don't do really that well with high RPMs. Two point five seconds, really? Seriously? I'm not complaining, but... Seems like... Well, I messed that up real good. Okay, he's really going to pull away here. Naturally. Seattle and the Superbird. But. Kind of keep it straight, man. Golly, we still have a whole lap to go when we're already on him. Looking good, my friends. 
It seems like he's trying a little better now. Or either I just really sucked at that. I'm going to go with I really sucked at that, but I don't know. The Buick Special might actually be kicking it into gear a little better now. Man, if I could pass him up here, that'd be great. Oh, I probably could have made it. Okay, this is not going to be easy. Oh, my God. Okay, right here, please. Now he's probably going to annihilate me here. Or not, because he's not going to try to pass. Okay. Really? You're 1.5 seconds behind. All right then. Golly, man, that one actually was pretty easy. That's only what third of ten. In the first two attempts, I just hit one of the hit the Mercury Cougar or the. Yeah, I think of the Mercury Cougar both times on the first lap, and that's what screwed me. Yeah, the main thing is just out driving that Buick Special. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we got through that one because I'm. I was at like an hour and 15 minutes before recording this one, and now I'm at an hour and 25 minutes. All right, moving on. All right, so the halfway point here. Three lap battle, Cote d'Azur. A mad dash along the Mediterranean coast using the mid engine of Lancia Strata. Sure about rival cars or Italian sports hatchbacks. Okay. This one's going to be kind of like Opera Paris. A lot of walls to hit. At least I do know Cote d'Azur better. Take care not to clip the rival cars as you overtake on this Cote d'Azur course. As the narrow roads make this especially tricky, you overtake cars cleanly by imagining the line you want to take. And predict the line the rival cars. Oh, that's hard. Be especially careful of changing the weight distribution of the car in the uphill and downhill sections. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. That is a thing. This thing will spin out very easily. And they got a huge lead on us. All right, and it looks like my file just finished. Hallelujah. First team kind of sucked anyway, so I wasn't really used to driving the car. I think I got to the little chicane on the second lap and the chicane of death. You know, that chicane isn't really too too much unlike the chicane in a uh, special stage ride 11 in Grand Turismo 1. Well, I am doing one second better this time. I was 40 seconds there last time. So, yay! Yay for making progress. Oh, God. Yeah, this car definitely can get unstable. Pretty much past the Fiat in the same place, though. I think I passed him slightly earlier, but He's just barely moving. Oh, man. Yeah, you want to break early for this. Definitely think it's better to not even go down the first gear. I don't know how automatic would work on this. 
I know whenever I was a kid and did this, I only used automatic. I never was brave enough for manual. So I know it's doable with automatic, but... Yeah, I think this one's gonna be pretty easy. Can I get this on the second attempt, y'all? Maybe. So far, uh, yeah, a little auto Bianchi. Actually, so passed him cleanly. Sweet. Now, this is not near as annoying as the Opera of Paris one. God bless. Yeah, all these cars here are red. The Alfa Romeo in front's red, I know, and then I'm red, and the little Audi Bianchi's red, the cute little car. This car here's red. Now, I don't know what car's in second place. I don't know if it's red or not. It should be green, though, because then that'd make the Italian flag. Red, white, and green, you know? Yeah. That'd be cool. Okay, please no slide car. Okay, now this one I might catch in a bad place unless I can catch him before the chicane. I'm definitely catching him earlier than last time because last time... Okay. Oh my god, you're in my way. I could have probably passed him for that chicane, but I went on the right side. Sixteen seconds, I don't know if that's good or not. I suck there. Lost a lot of speed. Oh my Jesus, car. Doing so good in that. Fourteen seconds. Hmm. Well, I was forty seconds on the first sector, so I've caught up twenty six seconds. And I'll and eh. it's gonna be cutting it close. I don't know. I actually don't know if that's gonna happen. That is a lot to close. Eight seconds. South Romeo is not that slow either. Has over 100 horsepower, like 113 in there. Of course, you know AI driving it. Stratos here only has like 170, doesn't it? All right, I can see him already. That's a good sign. Might actually pull this off on the second attempt. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God! Seriously! Oh my God! Might still be able to do it even with a freaking penalty. Like I said on the first lap, break early. Freak, freak face, stupid me. Man, could have actually done a lot better than this if I didn't suck so bad. But we might have it. Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to go for the pass here because I'll get a penalty and it'll screw me over. There we go. Alrighty. Could have done a lot better than that. Didn't freaking screw it that you can't get a penalty. All of them were red except for the feed. 
500R. I'm sure that car could come in a red, can it? <laughs> I didn't even look at the map. It would have been interesting to see how far behind the, the fee it was. But yay, money. And that's the halfway point. We still got a lot more of these to do. Five more, y'all. Okay, three lap battle Suzuka. This is the Volkswagen Beetle Cup. Yeah, one make race hell, that's Suzuka. Oh yeah, I think they did have that in Gran Turismo 3, did, didn't they? Think? Starting in last place, your mission is to make a miracle comeback within the last three laps. Although I'm sure in that real Beetle Cup, surely they don't make you start this far back. Because that would just kind of be brutal. Yeah... As this is a race between cars with matching performance, don't expect to pass them easily on the straightaway. Nope. Try to clear this mission by passing the cars. They're braking and smoothly accelerating out of corners. This battle will be decided by solid tactics. Yeah, this is where you can see true skill here. Although, the one on Seattle where I was versing the Buick Special, where the Buick Special was obviously much better. Um, that one was kind of, you know, kind of similar, but... This one's going to be even more tough, probably, because, I mean, we are exactly the same. All of us are. And right now, I'm not doing too good. I don't know if I should have gone down the second gear or not. I think I'll just keep it in third for this. Yeah. Briefly shift up to fourth. Lost more speed there than I needed to. Oh well, this is the first attempt. Okay. Yeah, he kind of sucked there on that corner, although I kind of sucked by shifting down the second gear when I probably didn't need to, although we will for this corner. Speed lakes I handles pretty good for a front wheel drive car. You are annoying. Get back there. Seriously, you're probably slowing me down. Okay, 14 seconds I think is what it said. That's a hot. Don't think I got the best performance on that corner, but I did pull away from the guy behind me, so I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I mean, I don't know. It's not a bad thing, but I don't know if it's really as good as it sounds. Yeah, I've only gained two seconds, so. I never did shift into sixth gear. If I should have done that or not. Okay. Can I get a draft off you, baby? Ten point seven. Oh my God! Why didn't they give me a penalty? You know what, I ain't complaining. I did break, so I guess the game was just nice and like, he tried to break and slow down and not hit it. He tried. Although it's not always that generous. Oh yeah, man, we're kicking this one. I know I am not going to get this on the first 10. There's no way. Okay, I just kept it in third that time. I don't know if that's better than going down the second or not. We're only seven seconds behind. Dude, dude, I'm right here. 
I know I hit your friend early. I didn't mean to. I promise. I feel like this is going well, but I don't really know. Come here, Beetle. Oh, God, please. On the road, baby doll. I don't feel like I took that curve very well, but I got a decent exiting speed because I'm actually gaining on him, so. Couldn't have been too horrible. Took that car better than you, too. I never did go in the sixth gear. Oh man, this thing has good brakes. It's a good thing. Because I don't know how to drive. Three point three seconds. And I see him, so I feel pretty good about this. First attempt maybe. Can I do this? Looks like we're gaining on him pretty quick. I think manual really helps big time. Especially with these front wheel drive cars, you know. Feel like I just get a lot more out of each gear, you know. Golly, can we already be catching him? We got a long way to go, too. Jeez. Expected a little more of a challenge on this, but, you know, I'll take this. Alright, I think I could have taken that curve a little faster, but he was in my way and I didn't want to hit him or anything. Nice, clean pass. Already in the lead, it's looking good. How far of a lead can we get on this, I wonder? It'll be interesting to see. Man, this is a dangerous little section. I don't know if I got a good exit there, but he's back there, so I'm all cool with it. And by back there, I mean way back there. Jeez. I think as a kid, I had a lot more trouble with this one. Apparently, I've gotten a little bit better. You wouldn't have known, though, um, by watching Opera Paris if you saw the failed attempts on that. But, gee, nice, man. First attempt. And not only first attempt, but I absolutely freaking slaughtered them. Gosh. 6.1 seconds. Golly, wow. And to think that I started out way at the end and in the same car. Some skill, bro, some skill. Not much, but a little. <laughs> oh, I'm not that good. That went amazingly well, though. I'm proud. All right, so first six done. Still got four more. Infineon. Oh, I love Infineon. This is a hard track, though. I didn't really read the information, but I will here. It's probably going to say about the same stuff. The key to mastering a Finneon Raceway with its many technical corners is not to be overly aggressive. If you try to drive too hard, you can expect to lose time. Oh, yeah. Because you're going to find yourself off in the dirt, man. If you drive a calm and balanced race, you will get the best results. All right, let's do this. Oh, gosh, and look at what we're driving. I actually uh, 
wish I'd read the information before. For this, I probably should be a... Uh, oh my god, oh my god. And it's freaking all right so fast compared to what I just drove. Oh yeah. The one lap magic stored in this, they are very hard, but I'm not so sure they're really any harder than these. Except for the last one, oh my gosh, it is brutal. See, we got a Bentley Speed 8 leading. Well, like I said, if you drive too hard, expect to lose time. Kind of suck in. I don't know how good I'm doing. This is the first attempt, so, I, you know, it's probably sucking real bad. Even though the first attempt with that Beetle's good, it, it was a much easier car to drive. 14 seconds. I don't even know how much I was at the beginning of this. I don't know if I've gained it all on the Bentley. Oh, my freaking God. Seriously, wow. That sucked real bad. Okay, we lost time there. Yep, expect to lose time indeed. Okay, well, let's just see how we do on this horrible tent. I'd say, man, I love this Audi R8, gosh. It's not quite as wonky to control as that 4 GTL in GT spec thing was. Oh my gosh, I feel like I did really good on this section. Even though I was a little, probably going too fast. Stupidly. Oh wow, only 7.9, really. If I, if I could get this on the first 10, man, that would be something, especially considering I ran off the road once. That would really be amazing. Oh my gosh. I feel like the latter part of that last lap was really impressive. I feel like I try if I tried to drive that aggressive again, I would fail miserably. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Yay, for getting a fail. That was not how I wanted this to end. And I still won. Gosh, that was terrible, though. First attempt, but very sloppy, very ugly. Very, very sloppy and ugly. I almost want to try it again to see it do better, but... You know what, we're moving on. I've already been recording for an hour and 51 minutes. Alrighty then. Gosh, I hate that I hit him there then. I probably could have beat him anyway. I know I could have actually. Alrighty, three lap battles. Sorry. Yeah, it says uh, Cal California's Infineon. Also no serious point. Three lap battle, Sarth too. Oh gosh, have you used the... Oh no. Here you use the Nissan R92. Oh gosh, no. 400 kilometers an hour. Oh. 
This is not going to end. This is not probably. I'm not going to do this on the first end, I can tell you. I'm not that good at this track. Although in GT Open Lobby I did. Of course, it was the 2009 version, I think, which is a little different. Actually, a little harder. Slips turned down the famous Hunt Andreas Strait of Circuit de la Sarth with a total length of six kilometers with one minute of full acceleration. The difficult part of the second half is the final maneuver, Porsche Corner. An effective strategy is to concentrate on straight speed. Here we go. Attempt number nine. I'm getting angry now. I'm trying to do this the right way, but the reason I think they made this one so hard is they knew people were gonna cut that chicane right there. On attempt six, I was doing pretty good. And then I ended up hitting the uh, the fourth place car, the Mercedes CLK. And well, when that happened, that just screwed me over real bad I, ended up hitting. I didn't try to cut the chicane I tried to do it the right way but if I'd cut across I could have just avoided it I don't really don't want to do it that way though I really want to do it the right way and I really don't feel like I got to get an XL that corner back there now, if I was doing decent on this, I should be able to catch this Benoz at the end of the straightaway. And maybe even draft him if I was really doing good. Like that. Just to be honest, 30 seconds in, I don't think I am. Mean, we started out 32 seconds behind, so haven't really gained very much at all. Very brief draft. Whatever you do, don't hit him. Yeah, 28 seconds. Not really gaining very much. I think I was only 27 on one or two. I don't know if it's my second or my sixth. Those were my only attempts for actually. I um, you know, did a full lap. My second attempt for actually finished. 10 seconds behind the Sauber Mercedes because, you know, reasons. Brutal. Yep, I've only gained one second since the straightaway. Not very good. Not impressive at all. That Sauber Mercedes, though, it's ever bit as good as this car is, if not better. Oh my god. Well, that was what I didn't want to happen. That sure as heck ain't gonna help me win this cleanly. Oh my god, and then I go off into the freaking sand. 26. Oh. Six seconds on one lap. So at that rate, I can gain 12 more seconds by then. Hmm. Am I only 12 seconds behind? No, I'm 26 seconds behind. I'm about to say screw doing this the right way. And I'm about to cut the chicanes. I think this is the worst. I think this is the worst so far that I've gotten this far. I don't remember where I was in the second team. I don't even know why I'm talking. This is probably failing. Gained seven seconds since the beginning, or since this time last lap. I 
Man, I was a kid. That's how I'd always do it, is I'd cut the chicane. This one's so freaking hard. Just not even gaining on this sucker, man. It all through that section. Eighteen point nine. We're not even really gaining on the sucker, man, at all. Oh my god. That actually worked. <laughs> Screw it, I don't care, man. Oh my god. Freaking GT1. Went from like 19 seconds to 11 seconds. Ridiculous. That is how they intend you to do it. Still not on track to win, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, but. <laughs> oh, gosh. Come on, GT1, you're slow. Yeah, I really think that's why they made this one that hard. They knew people were going to do that. They could have done that Grand Christmas 6 thing if you get to. Do they even get penalties? I don't think they do at all. They do get penalties for uh, hit it, hitting barriers and hitting other cars, but not for This sucker's hard enough, man. Really will. I kind of feel bad doing that. I, I will admit, I, I'm not the best at this track at all. When I actually race on this track, don't worry, I will not be doing that, I promise. be doing that. We might be doing that though by accident. This way if there's no way to win. Oh, or there is. <laughs> oh gosh, that was pathetic. Very, very pathetic. I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm, I'm so sorry. That was, eh, but we, we did it. I mean, one way or another. Good lord. Yeah, that was, that was the thing. I really feel bad about how Infineon and that one went, but you know. 
I also don't feel like spending 10 hours trying to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I probably could have got it in, a, you know, four or five more tenths. But golly, that would have been an extra 45 minutes probably. Three lap battle, Suzuka East. Oh, so this is a short one. The road legal version of the Muse S2000 with enhanced performance. Don't miss a single opportunity. Uh, well, the AI sucks on Suzuka East, so this probably would be easy. All right, second attempt, because after driving that R92, I forgot how to drive a normal car, so. <laughs> the R92 and the uh, Audi R8. Were they back to back? I don't say they were. Lost a lot of speed there. We go down to second gear. It's hard to decide the gears, man. Just this car slides, it's not like the Beetle, which, you know, I feel like I could get a lot more out of the Beetle. Because it didn't just slide around all over the place. Okay, yeah, this one's going to be pretty easy, I think. Although the first guy's way up there. I didn't even pay attention to how far behind I was. Oh my god. Seriously, person. I don't mean to hit you in the booty, but... So far, this seems rather easy. Or just slides, it's almost like it's on ice or something. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can go. You can go. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. Let's get too aggressive. Good thing I don't drive that aggressively in open lobby. I kind of do, but I don't know. It seems to be. I am slightly more aggressive with AI because, well, they're, they, uh, you know, they're very predictable. But you would also think that'd make it easier to uh, not hit them. But then again, they, um, many times they kind of hit you, you know. Whereas a human will pay better attention and sometimes well this was super freaking easy after that last horrible thing that we sh shall not mention and second attempt and wow I mean they were just going too slow for me oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't help but Hit one here or there. I mean, <laughs> eight point five nine eight seconds. Wow! I only needed two laps for that. All righty then. Jeez, I feel like the beta one was probably my best and cleanest. But I don't know. I did pretty good on the the New York one, the first one. Okay, and the last one here. Three lap battle, Sakuba. Challenge powerful Japanese road cars in the Nissan MMR Cup car. This demonstrates the difference in performance when racing and road tires. Hmm, this one's actually pretty cool, if I remember correctly. It's hard, though. That was first attempt. I think we can do better, though. I know we can. We'll have to. Okay, take three because I sucked and got a penalty right at the beginning last time, which I deserved. Just gonna keep it real with y'all. Alright. 
get around you, please. I actually got a ride in the lane for last time, but uh, I also got a penalty in the process. <laughs> uh, so I figured that probably was not the best idea to do. Really need to focus on exiting speed. Doing actually about the same as my first attempt. Maybe slightly better. I actually think I was behind the RX-7 at this point. Thing is that our, that freaking NSX is such a good handling car, you know. I'm not gonna make up much time on these corners against it, you know. Yeah, I need to light break a little more. Usually early braking is what you want to do, but in this case, late braking. We are gaining on it. Oh God, can I make the pass now? I never even got around this sucker last time. Relatively clean, I mean, not bad. On Nissan MMR, the M and M car. Can't believe I did that on the second lap. And this is only the third attempt. You know that NSX can take this corner so much faster. You know it can. Unless they have like those economy tires on it. Oh, you know, it's amazing how much better I did than last time. Cute little car. Three seconds faster. Look at that. That made a difference. Beat it by four seconds. And RX-7, well, they were finishing. Everybody but poor GTR. Poor GTR. Alrighty. Whew, we did those. It only took me two hours and 37 minutes. Mainly for a few of them. Some of them didn't take long at all. New York took a little while, and then Laguna Seca took a while. Jay Leno tank car. Uh, you can just only win this just once. And once again, I don't think you can really race that in anything. I don't think, anyway. No, I didn't mean to start that. Gosh, this is not Gran Turismo 6. Circle does not. Jeez, that's probably going to waste a day, too. That'll be for another time. Those are fun, too. Those slip streaming battles are. Yay, Sakuba Circuit has been added. Do y'all have anything special in here? Ooh, a Mazda Carol Deluxe. Look at this baby. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, it really sucks. It's a lot worse than the midget. And yeah, the 
Renault 5 Turbo does show up here. Which I think I might have sold this thing. I don't know. I'm wondering if the Ford RS200 uh, ever shows up. Do you not know? Hmm. Alright, well, let's check out our deal with one there. I've only used half my cars. 32 of 61. So where are you, tank car? 901 horsepower. Lordy. But yeah, it would be very hard to steer. I think I did try it one time. Um, you actually can race with this thing in Gran Turismo 6, which is pretty freaking cool. You can sell it for a lot, but I'm not going to sell it. Look how heavy that thing is. Gosh. All right, my friends, this has been long enough. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time where we'll do something. We'll, make, we'll probably move on to some more races. I want to get back into racing. Although, technically, these were races. They were pretty freaking tough. So, in special challenges. But thank you all very much for watching. Have a super awesome, blessed day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.